Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to do a little DIY project, a little recycle, a little upcycle, and it's all about my wife's pants. Well, part of them. So here's the deal. Um, these are pants that she's had, or she had a long, long time ago, and I have just kept the scraps because I thought, you know, someday in the future I could do something with it, and I did. So I've got two left. I went ahead and I made little wine bags out of these. Made two versions, one with a um, pre-sewn, not tieable little, I guess, necklace for it, and then one where you tie it. And it just wine bottle fits right there. Yeah. Tie this off right there. And then nice and tight. And then you get a nice little wine bottle bag to give somebody. And as a side note, that wine is delicious. I cannot take the credit for this idea because I was looking, you know, Pinterest and stuff. Uh, and I don't even know any kind of original or the originator of the idea. But let me show you guys how we did this. You'll take your length of jean leg, pull it inside out. It's where were we? That's right. Inside out is where you should turn this. Get yourself a tape measure, yardstick, or something. You want to measure out 15 inches. Our wine bottles, our normal wine bottles, look at this, about 12 inches right there. Some of them are even 13 inches tall. Obviously, if you plan on putting like a big old honking bottle of Stoli or Grey Goose or, you know, a really big, big bottle of some kind of big long large wine you'll just figure that out ahead of time but we're just doing straight 12 to 13 inch bottles of wine 15 inches you want to measure that from your pre-cut end right there you can use pretty much any kind of marking that you want to i just happen to have a metallic sharpie on me so You know, black Sharpie might show up a wee better, but I don't want to get it out of the box. Next up, cut it. You can use any manner of scissor that you would like to because this is going to be in an inside. You know, some of the thicker seams, I don't know if you want to use a trauma shears to get through that, but really take your time and any kind of decent sharp scissor will work, it'll leave less fraying. Set this aside, but don't get rid of it. There's two ways to do this. You can go ahead and just take this flat edge here, fold it over and just sew it down so you just have a flat bag or you can uh, cut the corners off here. That way it makes the bottom of the bag rounded just like that. How to measure that, I just take the bottle and I just kind of go and just find the, where the edge would be. Just got to come off at an angle. Yeah, it's about the center. Let me find where that edge is. Go off at appropriately the same angle. Now you can cut those individually, or if you wanted to save time, fold it up like this. 
match. Make sure everything lays flat and good. Match up where your edges are going to be. And just make one cut from here to there. And now we have a round bottom. So does my wife. <laughs> Pull the sewing machine up, get it turned on. What am I working with here? Well, this is the Sears Kenmore sewing machine, model 1774. This is a model, it's a machine that was purchased by my mom in about 1974. And this is what we're going to be using today. This is what I've used and will probably use for all of my stuff because it's a hand-me-down and it's free. These aren't going to be holding a ton of ton of weight, so I'm not worried about folding them over. You could fold them over if you wanted to. I am just going to go straight around the edge and I'm going to do two lines. Leave my needle in while I turn it. Give me a nice little pivot area. Then we're going to roll up this side of the jean. Rotate it again, and now with the sewn edge on this side of the foot, I'm just going to trace it back. Alright, turn around here, grab your scissors, make the cut, trim off. The whiskers, <clears throat> and there you have that. Now, let's go ahead and take this and flip it inside out. And you have a round bottom back in which you can place your wine bottle. If you wanted to have a jean style of tie like I did on my other ones you just can take if you have two of these you just like I did with this other one I took two of these and I sewed them together to make the length long enough so that it would wrap around the bag and tie I also just took a length of this and cut it and then made my own little permanent wine bottle neck scarf for lack of better terms but you may do what you would like to honestly the only requirement here is to be creative and have fun thank you very much for joining me on this kind of upcycled DIY project. Like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment, good or bad. Comment's a comment. That puts more uh, traffic on the channel. Anyways, yeah, no pro year, but having a lot of fun. You guys try to have a really awesome year. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.